The school has therapy dogs as well as grief counselors for students and staff who may need them on this first day back after the crash on Tuesday. The district is still working on plans to honor the four teens. Right now, they're just working on getting through the day. No one returning to Buffalo Grove High School this morning thought it was going to be just another day of school. I think it's going to be like emotional and heartfelt because of the fire in the school and with the kids, but I think everyone's going to be okay and we can make it through. Madison Coble didn't personally know the four teens who died in Tuesday's crash, but some of her friends did. Tyler Versheldon also knew of the four and their reputations. They were good people. I know plenty of people who were friends with them. Tuesday night around 10, the four friends, 17-year-old Ricky Barcinas, Kevin hernandez Turan, 16-year-old Jesus Rodriguez, were all in a Ford Explorer driven by 18-year-old Richard Dieta. Wheeling police say they were traveling at a high rate of speed, missed a red light at Dundee and Schoenbeck Roads, smashing into two cars and a power pole. A 15 was also in the Explorer and was hurt but survived the crash. It's just like we're at a loss for words. A memorial to the four teens continues to grow at the intersection where the accident happened. Our hearts are heavy as we remember the four students who have been taken from us way too soon in life. District 214 held an emergency meeting last night. Board members were set to discuss the small fire at the school earlier this week that canceled classes for the past two days, but the death of four students in a single night was on everyone's minds. They were very involved. The kids all knew them. The staff knew them. One was involved in football, another one was involved in co-ed cheerleading, lacrosse. Uh, <laughs> they were just great kids. The four had just gone to prom, and one of the teens was set to graduate next week. This should be a time of great celebration and joy, and uh, uh, unfortunately right now we're, we're also looking at a time of great grief. Those grief counselors as well as those therapy dogs will be at the school again next week. We're in Buffalo Grove. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.